Hello and welcome. Today we are going to make a greeting card and we're going to do that by clicking on this first level in the beginner skill map. Once it is highlighted like this, you'll know you're ready to go and you can click start on the right hand side. Once this welcome screen appears, you'll know you're good to go and this will give you a little idea what we're headed toward today. Our first instruction wants us to look in the scene category for the set background image to block. We're going to click that into the on start container, which will let the code run on start or when the simulator loads. To give us something to look at, let's click on this little box and go in and create a background. If you want, you can draw one of your own. Let's choose a nice sky color with the fill canister here and we'll fill that in and then maybe we'll take a good ground color with a rectangle and we'll add some ground then we can fill that ground in maybe grab some green make our pencil a little bit bigger and draw a tree but if we decide that we don't want to take the time to draw a background or we just don't really feel like it, we can go into the gallery and we can choose one that has been created for us. And I'm going to pick this castle. Beautiful. Click done. And we're ready to take a look at our simulator to make sure it looks the way we want it to. Now let's go on to the next step. Time for a heartfelt greeting. Let's click back on this background and we're going to add a little message to the card. I'm going to grab this yellow, maybe a medium pencil, and I'm going to write hi. Lovely, except I don't really like the placement. So I'm going to take this marquee tool and circle the hi, and I'm just going to move it over. That looks like a good place for it. That's exactly what I wanted, except for I don't want this big blank spot there. So I'm going to grab the color of my sky, grab my fill bucket and fill that in. Beautiful. We're ready to click done. Check the simulator and make sure it looks the way we want it to. And it does. I'm happy. Let's click next. Now it's time for a celebration. Let's add some pizzazz from the scene category by grabbing a start screen confetti effect. We're gonna look back at our simulator and we'll see we have confetti. Beautiful, now notice how this hint keeps popping up. It doesn't mean we're doing anything wrong. All it means is that it wants us to know there's a hint there for us in case we wanna take a look. And you'll notice my card does not look exactly like the hint and that's okay. This isn't saying we have to make exactly what it tells us to. It's saying if you wanted to make something, here are some options for you. So we don't have to have our background be the same and we don't even have to have this be confetti. In fact, let's change it. So confetti at a castle hmm, doesn't look authentic. Let's go ahead and look for something, a blizzard. Come over to our simulator and there's our blizzard. Brr. Now, let's add a personal note from the music category. We're going to grab Play Melody, and we're going to stick this into our On Start container. When we're ready, we can click the note, and we have our Melody Editor right here. There are eight different slots for us to choose eight different notes. We can choose anything between the low note and the high note. So if we wanted to go from low to high, it would look like this. There you go, and we'd have a nice scale. If that's not what we want on our card, we can come back over and edit our melody or go into the gallery and choose one that's been made for us. For this setting, I might go with mystery. Click done and look at the simulator. Spooky, I like it. And that's it. We've got a basic greeting card. Now we want to go back and look at our simulator 
and make sure it's exactly how we want it. Because if it's not, we can still change it. That's the great thing about code is you can go back in, you can change it, you can play around with other blocks in the toolbox, see what they do, add something new, and then when you're done, click finish so you can share. Now that we're back at the skill map, you'll see we have the option to go back in and view the code in case we wanna make any changes. We can restart, which will set us back to the beginning in case we didn't like what we made in the first place. Or we can share right here. Arr, share this with family and friends. And that'll pop up this link to publish our project and give us a link that we can share or text with anyone we want to send our card to. Finally, at the bottom, we can save our card to our project gallery. And then that lets us go in and open the card up with a full toolbox and add to it in any way we want. I hope you had a great time making your greeting card. I know I did. Until next time, happy coding.